Hey golfers and welcome back to the Second Swing YouTube channel. Today we are joined by Bennett Swavely from the University of Minnesota men's golf team. Bennett, really a fast swinger. You're going to see some speed here today. He is working on the transition from his irons to his fairy wood and he's also working with Larry Bobka, assistant coach for the golfers and of course a master fitter at Second Swing. Larry's going to give him some pointers and eventually he's going to give him a setup for a long iron in his bag. So without further ado, let's go to Bennett and Larry in the tour van. Here with Bennett Swavely today. Swaves, I've, I've seen you play a lot of golf over the years. That's right. Um, you know, you, I think over my uh, few years of seeing, your golf game has grown dramatically. Mm -hmm. It has become much tighter, much more, uh, God, I hate to say this, but a little more intellectual yeah. for you. A little you bit. Know? A little bit, mm -hmm. you know, hitting better shots. And, and as every college player, you kind of figuring out some yardage and there's some gaps. And, you know, there's, you know, you, you guys are playing golf courses, you know, blessings with 7,700 yards, 7,400 mm -hmm. at Vero Beach. You know, it's kind of those long par threes are, are tough. And then there's a lot of places where off the tee, you kind of kind of got to hit something maybe less than three wood. So, uh, you absolutely just roast that four iron that you have. I've seen it, you know, that shot right there. That's, that's because you've been waiting around here for two hours to hit some golf shots. But hit me a couple four irons. You've had a two iron in the bag that you don't use too much. Mm -hmm. You've thrown a hybrid in the bag that, that you, you know, that's an old friend. It is. So let's get some numbers off those and let's kind yeah. of decide where we maybe need to go. Let's do it. Pretty good stock one right there. So you, normally yep. 220, 225? Yeah, about 225-ish is kind yeah. of a, a stock four iron number, yep. depending on yep. flight and trajectory, but yeah, right around there. And if you don't know, Swaves, as we like to call him, was a was a golf channel was a golf channel celebrity by putting out of the bunker at number eight at the blessings and then oh. making a 30 footer for par. So yep. it, it's a long story that I'm not gonna go into, but <laughs> all we'd had we had a wonderful conversation <laughs> before he hit the shot. I walked over and said, you're not going to like what I'm going to do. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's a good time. You know what? It, it was one of those shots where, hey, it's a golf course decision. You, it is. You had, to, you had to get the ball out of the bunker and on the green because there was hazard on the other side mm -hmm. coming out of a bad lie. You know, yeah. sometimes, sometimes golf isn't pretty. That's right. But it was effective. It's not much, more, not, much, not much else I could do from there. No. All right. So that one's really good, really stocked, nice distance, beautiful. Yep. Let's, so that is, that's your two iron or that's still that's, the four? That's a four. Okay, so let's hit the two, let's hit a, hit a couple with the two iron that we don't normally hit. Yep. And see what we get, see what kind of conditions we get. Perfect. And why is, why is this club not been something you like to hit. It's just been a little bit harder for me to find the center of the face. Okay. And also it's, um, sounds weird, but um, it's just not very forgiving. Yeah. Um, as much as I would, I would like, um, and yeah, okay. that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's hit, a, let's hit a couple shots with it. And then we'll, then we'll grab the old friend hybrid. And that's kind of that shot that yeah, and that's kind of kind of a little getting... bit little bit low spin. Little, yep. I mean, only gets 87 feet in the air and almost feels like like it's kind of squirting off yep, the face. Exactly. Yeah. And then you're in a little bit of rough or mm -hmm. the lie's not the best. <clears throat> then it's even worse. Yeah. Okay. Hit so one. A... Hit, yeah. Hit one more. You know, and it, and it's interesting if if you know. And I don't know how Drew is going to put all this stuff together, but it's very interesting to see the four players in different launch condi conditions, different height, yeah. and different golf swings. So that's why fitting so important, and that's why it's important to come the second swing, because you don't really know. You, you watch somebody hit it, 
You want somebody to hit a shot and go, man, that's awesome. I got to get one of those. Well, if it doesn't fit what you do, it's pointless. Yeah. You know? And I was telling the boys in the podcast, it's like, if you haven't gotten fit before, uh, the second that you do go get fit, like you kind of realize like what, what, what clubs and, and what, you know, um, you know, if it's a, if like for me, exam, example, like if I have a hybrid or a two iron, like what suits my game the best, you know? Right. Um, and yeah. Absolutely. Wow. That's just, that's just nuked. Yeah. Well, if there's one thing that Swaves does not lack, <laughs> it's speed. Swaves, I'll, I'll tell you a little story about Swaves. Swaves has got to be the best first tee driver of the golf ball I have ever seen. He stands up and absolutely pummels every first tee shot. I mean, at the Invitational, at you just do it every time. You just love to stand up there and just rip the first tee shot. I mean, yeah. you know, and hey, most people get are, get nervous about it. They're worried about it. What yeah. do you do? You just, you go full bore. I do, yeah. Because you wanna, you wanna make solid contact and mm. not worry about trying to control anything. It's a great way to start a round of golf. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, especially with like, just understanding equipment, like the modern golf equipment, like it's, you're, you're meant to swing these clubs fast. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. The faster you swing it, I, I think the straighter it can go. Absolutely. You are you are totally correct. <clears throat> that was a little okay. better. So this is a great club, but it might create a little bit of yardage gap. Mm -hmm from the four iron and maybe a little bit too close to the three wood, although you hit your three wood. What should we see? Yeah. I, don't even, I, don't I know even, how far. It's I don't gonna, even really know. How I far know it's how far it's going to go. It's going to go 300 yards. It's, it's inc no, it's incredibly depressing to watch this. <laughs> Most of the time, depending on the sky background, I can't see this ball land <laughs> because my eyes are getting bad and it is just, it's a thing to watch. There's the Swaves three wood. He blocked it a little bit. 308. 160. Yeah, 116. 116 club head speed. 168 and a half ball speed. And you got it okay. You didn't get it great. Um, felt a little better. There we go. Yeah. Folks, that, that is a carrying 289. <laughs> Rolling out to 314. That is a three metal. That is not a driver. That is off the mat, and it is incredibly depressing to watch. <laughs> Slightly chunky, but yeah, we chunked that's a shot two, I'll take. We chunked to 273 right down the middle. All right, so let's do this. I yeah. want you to hit yeah. this. Taylor made three iron, a UDI. For sure. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they're, you know, and I, I think for you, Swaves, you know, and, and you've done this, you know, you carry both the clubs. I think it's your level. I think it's great to carry more than 14 clubs to a tournament. Yep. You might need 15 or 16 clubs, and then depending on where, depending on what you need, you take the clubs out, depending on the shots, the flight, uh, the way the course is designed, the wind conditions. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell the great story that, you know, Hogan won at Marion, and he's got that famous one iron shot on the 18th mm -hmm. green. Well, he took his nine iron out of the bag that week to put a one iron in there because mm -hmm. he knew there weren't very, very many nine iron shots, and he figured he could cover it with a pitching wedge or an eight iron. Yep. I mean, that's course, that's course management. <laughs> yeah. at the it's at, the beauty of golf right yeah, there. Yeah, at, at its finest. Yeah. All right, so let's see what this does. So there, I mean, there's some beautiful distance right there. I mean, that's kind of 257. It's a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit longer than your, you know, your four iron for sure. But it's a pretty controlled shot, and it's yeah. pretty close to the hybrid. Let's hit a couple more. Yeah. 
you know, and I know you can rope hook this one. Oh, yeah. I've seen you rope hook golf shots. Oh yeah. It's a thing of beauty. It's the go-to. The most, the most fun shot I've seen Swaves hit was on the second hole in the practice round at Vero Beach where you and Gavin <laughs> were having fun aiming 40 yards right with what, seven irons? Eight irons, yeah. Eight irons, aiming 40 yards right, hitting these rope hooks onto the green by the pin. Yep. I mean, it, he, was aiming, he was aiming so far right that we had to move the tee marker because, because yeah. he didn't want to hit it. <laughs> Yeah. See, and that's yeah. the shot. I mean, think about think about fourteen at the Meadow Club. Yep. Sixteen at Vero Beach. I mean, there's a lot of places where that is more helpful than the hybrid. Yes. You know, because we know you can smash it. You know, in the hybrid, to me, sometimes you're just constantly kind of choking it down. <laughs> hit yeah, that I think. Hit that little heel cut. Yeah. I think it's a lot easier to kind of hit some golf shots with a three iron than it is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hit hit uh, that again, and yep. I'm going to have you hit another one. Perfect. Okay, so we know the Taylor made works really good. Yeah. We're going to try a Titleist, just a T200 iron. Perfect. Three iron, see what that does. Slightly smaller. And then smaller. you tell me, I mean, look-wise. Slightly smaller here. Slightly smaller head. Yep. I kind of like that. I like a... Well, yeah, you I've used a three or two iron in the past, like a like a really strong four iron, where like the like the crossover. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker in the back, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. Um, I like something that kind of um, flows with like from my four iron down to my three. So something that looks very similar, which is this looks very similar to that. Yeah. So well, you being a Mizuno iron guy, you, yeah. you know you're you're a little you're a little pickier about the look than some other players are. For sure, but that's a good thing because yep. look is confidence. Yeah. You know, I always tell the story about buying a car with a color that you don't like. You walk in your garage every morning and go, why did I buy that color? <laughs> That's a little right. Well, not much, a little bit. Yeah. A little better. There you go. Just, yep. Just, just a touch right. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you look at that club, lie angle might be just a yeah. little bit flat. Just slightly you. flat. Yeah, just slightly flat. Yep. Bend that a little upright, straighten that out. But, you know, if that looks better, mm -hmm. that's the performance we're for looking sure. for. That's the carry we're looking for. Yeah, something right so, around that 245, 250-ish range. Yeah. Can, we, uh, can we turn it over? Yeah, we'll try it here. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, it's kind of like that go-to shot for me. You wouldn't mind having that, Drew, would you? I, I'd use that off the tee all day long. Oh, that's not it. A little block. Felt a little better. Spin, than... Yeah, spin stays down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But yes, yeah, yeah, I, I, so rather than your two iron, I'd rather see, you know, I think we need to get a three iron. Yeah. Appropriate shaft, something a little bit heavier and extra stiff. Yep. You know, the question is, does that feel comfortable in graphite or would you rather just go with your steel setup? I would be interested to see what it would feel like with my steel. Yeah, um, I would I would probably order I would probably order a three, you know, game improvement, UDI, a T two hundred like that, with your golf shaft in it. Yeah. And see what happens. Right. I think that I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, so do me a favor, hit me one more. Yeah. We're about we're about time to close the store here at Second Swing. There you go. Just a regular but, one. Yeah, but you know it's very obvious that one, you know, Swaves and I have spent a lot of time on his golf bag, uh, making sure that he's got the right things in his golf bag, and you know this is the time of the year where a college golfer is going to take a look at some things and kind of review the shots that they did not have. I mean, that one right there is absolutely beautiful. That's perfect, yeah. Yeah, so I would do, you know, I would do the Titleist one in your golf shaft. Yeah. And it's the look you want. You don't need distance. You don't need speed. You need control. Yep, exactly. So, 